Hey, good people. How's it going? Welcome back to my channel, in which it's now time for the... Yep. The Breezy Saturday Family Feud Play Edition Marathon. It is Saturday, February 17th, 2018. And I have one guest with me only, and that is Mikey. Hello. And he's ready, as he always ever be, to give some crazy... Some bizarre, but most importantly, hilarious, stupid answers. <laughs> I'm already getting a full bladder just thinking about it. If Mikey's answer is so stupid and funny, I actually might end up whizzing in my pants. I came close a couple of times. There was a... There was an answer he gave last week, which was not necessarily a stupid answer, but it's an answer I'd expect him to give, which actually made the survey. Right. Hi, welcome to the family. Team. Two people said your answer. <laughs> okay, adjust the game so it's exactly well, the way you know, like. Really, what do I got next to my pop out? Hi. Just Mike. Backstage. We will start with the Robinson family this weekend. But yeah, we're going to have a good weekend this weekend. Wait, every weekend's always good. Who am I kidding? We're always going to have a good weekend. Damn straight. And I know this past week was Valentine's Day, and for those of you out there uh, watching this video, whether uh, you have a significant other, whether you have a boyfriend or girlfriend, or whether you're just plain single, hope you did enjoy your Valentine's Day. I know I enjoyed mine. Yeah, mine was good. That's good. But... That holiday's over. The next holiday that's coming up, I believe, is Easter, which is the same day as April Fool's Day. <laughs> Wait, no. St. Patrick's Day. I forgot. One month from today, St. Patrick's yeah, Day. Well, our first family hails from... Yeah, we have to do St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, we have to do St. Patrick's There's also something else we have to do, Mikey. We have to wear green or we're both going to get pinched. So I'll show proof on the St. Patrick's Day edition of the Family Feud Marathon that I am going to wear green so that way you guys won't pinch me. They're from Cincinnati, Ohio. And they describe themselves as passionate and playful. Here we go. Let's hear it for them. Family number two. The breezy Saturday Family Feed PlayStation Marathon is underway. Now I'm trying to think. What episode number is this? I think I've lost track. We're in the third Saturday of the month. We took one Saturday off, I'm pretty sure. Let me look over my look over my channel here real fast to see what episode number we're at. Because I've got a lot of projects in the works right now. It's so hard to keep up with everything. Know what I mean? Where are we at? Top five answers are up on the board. Here we go. You ready to do this? Yes. Name a place where men go to get away from women. Well, despite having this question numerous times, we're still going to take it anyway. What do you think it is? A place where men go to get away from women? Yeah, bartender. Oh, it's behind the bar counter, please. All right. Let's Dr. Pepper? Uh, make it a Dr. Pepper 10, please, and add cherry to it. Cherry syrup. You got it. So as I'm looking over this, Mikey, we are in episode number six. Yes, indeed. Nice. Episode six of season four. Are you going to play? Yeah, we're going to play, Louie. Go to play. Let's go. I always love it when he says that. Go to play. Let's go. I love it when he says that. I don't know why. Another player. Okay. I'd say they go to the club. Uh, place women? Yeah, place where men go to get away from women, they go to the club. I know Mikey likes going there. Yeah, I do. Oh, you said it on camera! <laughs> That's not getting edited out. That's staying. <laughs> that is staying on camera. <laughs> Alright, I would say they go to the gym. 
Although in Mikey's case, he doesn't go to the gym to get away from women. He goes there to stare at them. <laughs> well, either way. <laughs> well, I don't have any girlfriends, but I have a lot of friends that are girls, so... Good answer. Exactly. Exactly, alright. I would say they go fishing. Something I haven't done in almost 15 years. Yeah, I, I haven't fished in a long time. It's been since December 2003 for me. Can't have played for men, though, to get away from women. Do they go fishing? You never know what's going to be up there. It's there. Exactly. And we get a third exactly. And the last answer... They go golfing at the golf course. Although in reality, the only golf I'm good at is putt-putt. And I'm not even good at that game. Oh, since we were talking about April earlier, this upcoming April at Aubrey Scott Productions, you're going to see my first movie slash vlog on my channel, which will be my trip to Boston. Nice. So be on the lookout for that, everybody. Didn't give anyone a chance and that. yes, it will be a movie, but it's also going to be my first vlog, since I've never really done any vlogs. That's right, my first one ever. That's the end of round one. Let's see. And we have 78 points to a big fat goose egg. Star. Thanks, Meathead. And we're ready for round number two. Oh, yeah. Let's go. It's it, time for round two. It is a number. Number two. Get it? <laughs> it is a number. Number two. Get it? <laughs> Yes. Name something that is so important that you count the days until it happens. I think I'm going to give the number two answer first. Family number one. I'm going to go with retirement. All right. I'll give the number two answer first, and then we'll work our way down answer. all the way to number six. Then we'll give the number one answer first. And we'll give the number one answer last. Excuse me. Yep, retirement is number two. Number two answer. You know what, Mikey? I think I'll say it again. It is a number. Number two. Get it? <laughs> what do you think it is, family number two? Job interview. Uh, false. No. I hope it's up there for you. It's not up there, meathead. Survey says give them a buzz. And I don't mean a Disney scene at buzz card. <laughs> Louie, we're gonna play. We need a decision. Family number one is going to play. Better believe it. I would say a birthday. Next player, it's your dad. Birthday, 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 birthday. Name something that is so important that you count the days until it happens. Oh, I misspelled birthday. Oops. Let me fix it. That's better. Good thing I didn't hit the enter button yet. I'll go ahead and enter, turn up the volume a little bit. Yes, indeed. Good answer. <laughs> I would say the birth of a baby. Name something that is so important that you count the days until it happens. I hope it's up there for you. Let's see the birth of a baby. It's number three. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Did you hear Louis say good answer earlier, Mikey? 
<laughs> I don't know why I get a kick out of that every time, but it's just funny. I'd say graduation. It's so important that you count the days until it happens. Okay, everybody, let's get ready to go. Me the answer. Yep. Right on. See if he says it again. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Called it. Oh yeah. Another Good question. answer. Good answer. <laughs> I would say something that's coming up for me in a few days: a vacation. It's something that is so important that you count the days until it happens. Okay. Show me the answer. Let's see a vacay. Yep. Which mine's coming up in a few days. Yes, indeed. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> now, the Saturday I am in Boston, will there be a Family Feud marathon that day? I'm going to say very likely. If I can maybe get a PlayStation emulator or something. I might do an so I might do an on location family feud marathon, but I haven't decided yet. Good answer. Good answer. And I'm gonna say wedding, which is the number one answer. Ninety-five more points coming up. Wedding. Excellent. Our top answer. Way to go. Thanks, Meathead. Alright, family number one. You got the points. Yep. 95 more points puts us at 173 points at the, at the moment. That takes us to the end of this round. Let's check the scoreboard. Let's have what's behind the bar counter. Yep. Here we go. Round three coming up. That we do, Louie. Okay, it's round three. Let's go. All right, let's see what happens. A member from each family. Let's go. Fifty people surveyed twice. That's a hundred people. We got top four answers. You just gotta give them to us. All right. Leave a trail of. Tell me something slobs leave a trail of? Uh, I would say trash. Number one. I'm gonna go with trash. Is it there? Show us. It's there, but two answers are more popular. Right. Although 20 people did say garbage. Very good. Right. But there's two up there that can beat it. Next family gets a chance. Let's see what they say. I don't think in, in the history of my 16 years of playing this game, I don't think I've ever seen this question. Dirt. Oh, that's a good answer. But is it good enough? Let's find out. All right. Let's see if it's on the board. Let's see if it is on the board. No, it's not, surprisingly. I think we'll play. Let's give it a shot. Good answer, but it wasn't in our top four. We'll play. What are you going to do? Play? Yeah. Family number one is in the play. Yep. I would say... I would say they leave a trail of cigarette butts. Tell me something to leave a trail of. No? How about food? Food. I'll say food. Survey said. It's number two, food crumbs, about 22 people. Exactly. Alright. Something slobs leave a trail of. Another player, okay. How about. How about dirty clothes? Tell me something slobs leave a trail of. I'm gonna go with dirty clothes. Is it there? Let's see. It's number one, dirty clothes. 
Pretty close. Now we just have to come up with the last answer. Yeah. Our top answer. Something slobs leave a trail of. We have dirty clothes, we have food and crumbs, and we have garbage. Call me crazy. I'm gonna try TP. Toilet paper. No? How about paper? Just paper. Let's see if it's up there. Let's see if just paper's up there. No, it's not. Strike one. Oh, well. well, that's alright. It's just strike one. Good guess. But no. I gotta give you a strike. Oh, well. Something slobs leave a trail of. Another player, okay. Got an um. Tell me something. I'll try another answer. Dust? No. 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 Something slobs leave a trail of. Footprints? What? Oh, no, I'm just trying to think. Okay. Something slobs leave a trail of. Dirty clothes, that's okay. Dirty clothes, food and crumbs, and garbage. What do slobs leave a trail of? No? Slops leave a trail of what? No? Cigarettes, it's not there. <clears throat> I don't have a clue. Me neither. Survey set. Not there. Oh well. It's not there. Second strike. Something slobs leave a trail of. Careful. Only one more strike. Another player. Okay. What about dirty dishes? I'll try that. I'll say dirty dishes. Let's see if that's there. Is it there? If it's there. We got the points. If not, third strike. Oh, I got it! Nice yes, indeed. Holla! An entire survey. That's terrific. I don't know why I thought of that in the first place. Family number one. You did it. Way to go. And round four coming up. Then fast money. takes us to the end of this round. Let's check the scoreboard. Right now, at this point, we are up to 270 points, and the Wu family remains pointless at nothing. Oh, Both families are playing well. We're playing well, Louie, not the computer family. They don't even have a single point. Why? Round four, points are tripled, but you only get one strike. And then, the other family gets a chance to steal. Let's play. A member from each family. Let's go. One hundred people surveyed. We've got the top six answers. You just gotta guess them. Good luck. Here we go. Everybody ready? Name something people carry in their hands as they board airplanes. I would say... Their pa uh, boarding pass. Good answer! Good answer! Is it up there? Yep! I have a strategy in mind, so I'm going to pass. All right. Good answer. Number one. Are you going to play or pass? All right. Family number two is going to play. Another 
the player, okay. A mental board? Makeup kit, uh, false. No. Nope. I hope it's up there for you. Survey says we've got this no matter what. Oh, strike one. Sorry. Next family, you can seal. Two points and a chance at ten thousand dollars coming up. All right. Good game, everybody. Going to the fast money round is our big winner, family number one. It's our fast money round. Pick two players from your family to play. Your manners. Good the clock won't start. Not. Good answer. Reading the first question. All right, Mikey, are you ready for question number one? Yes, I am. Name the age when kids Maybe start going steady. Going steady. Uh, sixteen. Good. Name a country whose people consume a lot of liquor. Oh gosh, uh, Mexico. All right. Question three. Which color M&M do you eat first? Uh, the red. Good. Name the age when women start lying about their age. Uh, uh, 21. Okay. 21's not showing up. Want to try another one? Uh, 30. 30? Okay. You know what it's time for, Mikey. Right. Okay, Mikey. Are you ready for this dumb answer question? Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Alright, let's see if I can say it without laughing. I'm already thinking about it, but here we go. Mikey, name a piece of sports equipment that little boys love. Uh, the ass bell. The what? Oh my god! <laughs> I know you love it! Yeah, so thank you all the ass of the ass. <laughs> you said 16. Survey said? 33! I hear that many times. You said Mexico. True. Survey said? Three only, but it's there. Which color M&M do you eat first? You said you eat the red M&M's first. So do I. Survey said? 39. Wow. In the age when women start lying about their age. You said 30. What did survey say? 40. Wow. Wow. In a piece of sports equipment that little boys love. You said the ass belt. That got absolutely nothing. So you got me 115 points, I just need 85. Same five questions. Good I got this. Clock starts when I finish the first question. Here we go. 
Here we go. In the age when kids start going steady. I'm gonna say 13. Name a country whose people consume a lot of liquor. The U.S. of A. Which color M&M do you eat first? Green. Name the age when women start lying about their age. 40. Name a piece of sports equipment that little boys love. Baseball bat. We, we should get this. 85 points is all we need. Let's take a look at your answer. Here we go. In the age when kids start going steady. I said 13. Our survey said 12. I think 16 was the number one answer. In the country yeah. people consume a lot of I said the good old U.S. of A. Our survey said 18. All right. Which color M&M do you eat first? My favorite color of all time. Well, not my favorite color M&M, but green. 28. Red was number one. Red was number one. In the age where women start lying about their age. Age 40. Did enough people say it for 10 grand? Oh, we just need one more point. We got this. If just one person said a baseball bat, we got the cash. Our survey said we got it. So that's our first $10,000 win. Yep, we our first fifth, uh, game of this weekend's marathon, and we pull off a ten thousand dollar win. See you again next time. Remember, yeah. be good to your family. We're not finished. We're finished with the first game, but we're not finished with the marathon because we still have three more games after this one. Game number two will commence when we come back from this break. Don't go away.